Hey everybody, welcome back to Cooking with James. I'm your host, James. Now, if you're new to my channel, please think about subscribing if you like the content. Make sure you hit the bell for notifications, give a thumbs up, and drop an awesome comment at the end of this video. Today, we are going to be doing air fried chicken wings in the new Power XL air fryer grill. Into it. Okay, so this is what we got. Um, I got five wings here. I got a bunch in the fridge. I'm actually just showing you how to do this because... Okay, here we got the flour. And you know, like I said, I'm only doing uh, five wings right now. So I've got probably about three quarters of a cup of flour in here and what I put in. Okay, so now we're at the air fryer. And uh, what, what, what the first thing you want to do is you want to stick this plate that it comes in or uh, with in the bottom. The reason why is because these elements right here on the bottom, they get really hot. If that grease hits it, it does smoke. Um, so we're going to close it up. We're going to go ahead and, and put it on 400 degrees over here. Um, put it on air fry and we're going to give it, there we go. We're going to give it 10 minutes and we'll be back and check it in 10 minutes. All right, so it has been uh, 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what we got. Turn that off there. And of course, looking like uh, you know, it's flowers. Okay, like quick update. Now on this air fryer, like I mentioned before, you got the heating elements on the bottom. So I used um, this pan that came with it. Now that pan got really hot and it started smoking. So I think what we're gonna do, it's already been 20 minutes. So it's been 10 minutes and 10 minutes, so 20 minutes total. And this is what the wings look like so far. That's not bad. We're gonna put them back on the middle rack. Now my solution to this in the middle of a cook, so I'm doing it on the fly, is I put some aluminum foil down there to see if that will stop the smoking. So that's a, kind of a, a negative on this uh, cooker. So, okay, so it's been 10 more minutes and the smoking is continuing. And um, to be honest with you, this doesn't look like it's gonna be an air fryer. As a matter of fact, the skin is not crunchy. Well, a little bit, but not how I want it at all. So anyway, um, it, the chicken's done. I know it's done, but we're gonna take it to the cutting board and I'm gonna give you my opinion on what just happened with this air fryer. See you in a minute. All right. So we're finished with the cook and right off the bat, I am absolutely super disappointed with this thing they call an air fryer. It's absolutely, I don't even know the words to say. So the chicken actually, I mean, it turned out all right. I mean, it's edible, it's all right, but it's not, it's not an air fryer. You've seen, if you, you know, checked out some of my other videos, the, you know, the steak and the pork chops and the shrimp and stuff, the grill, great, is awesome you know, with the heating elements on the bottom and everything. Um, this, it's basically, it's a toaster oven and they give you a grill grate so you can make grill marks on stuff. Um, my opinion of this thing, don't buy it, it's a piece of crap when it comes down to all the functions that it claims it could do. Um, I've tried every function on it from air fryer, air fryer, grill, grill, broil, uh, pizza bake, reheat, the uh, toaster, bagel, rotisserie, all that stuff. You're not gonna be able to do rotisserie chicken in this thing with the heating elements on the bottom. It's just that grease is gonna hit those elements and it's gonna smoke your whole house up. Absolutely ridiculous. And one more thing, I called, well TriStar is the one that uh, creates this. I called a couple times, left a couple of messages for uh, you know some of the upper people. Never got a phone call back because I wanted them to answer some questions about this new product that they came out with just to see if they had any um, you know any any fixes or anything for it and you know I never got a call back and that's pretty disappointing um, now there are other uh, products the power for Ivan elite the power uh, X uh, fryer XL 10 and one those are air fryers those are awesome I've had those for well, the elite for uh, like a year and a half or more the XL which is sitting over here as well for I don't know six seven eight months awesome this thing though is a toaster oven with a grill grate absolutely hideous for what they're they're putting it out for so look please share this video because it's gonna go around they're probably gonna you know do another promotion on this thing when Christmas comes and you know it's that time of year help me get this video out and let them know they can't put out pieces of crap and have people buy them and I called to return this thing they got to go through a long process and all that stuff but um, yeah, it's 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 not worth the money, and you don't want to be disappointed when you buy something. So I've never lied to you guys. I've always been honest and you know kept it real. So everything else, you know, the other two products that I bought was amazing. This is just uh, it's a piece of junk, absolutely. 
So anyway, share this video, let everybody know, do not make this purchase for real. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna eat the rest of this chicken-ish, kind of whatever you want to call it, air fried my butt, but anyway. So um, yeah, with that being said, we will catch you on the next cook slash review. Do not purchase this machine and share this video. Thanks for watching.